Let's talk Reawaken America Tour. So Tom Dinky here for WBFO is going to have a full report on the website, and I highly recommend you look up whatever article he's going to make. But before we get into him talking about the event, I want to explain what has happened with 1776 in relation to the event. And this can be confirmed by watching Santa on stream this morning. 1776 is not allowed to have a booth. They were supposed to have a booth at this event. Why don't they have a booth? They got a call late last night or this morning telling them a security team there doesn't want them to have a booth. So yes, security has found them to be too big of a concern. I guess they do not want that cult to be there. But also, they're of course they're still planning to try to hand out pamphlets and maybe they can get General Flynn or Mike Lindell to help them. The delusion is really strong. So what is going on at this tour? Well, of course, they brag about Roe v. Wade. There's some homophobia, some transphobia. Uh, they said the front row seat was reserved for the New York State Attorney. Uh, don't worry, there'll be more on that. A speaker says that God told him that President Joe Biden is an evil usurping man that needs to be removed. They decry cancel culture! Okay. And he says he's invited the media to this one, but normally doesn't because they're horrible. And I think that's actually the answer with 1776, to be honest. I think they had more media access this time than normal. And I think the fact that the media was there, they decided they shouldn't let a cult have a booth and last minute pulled it. That would be my guess. Uh, they talk about not being vaccinated. Uh... Pastor Mark Burns says they're doing everything to make sure Trump can't run again in 2024, but New York Patriots won't let them. Uh, crowd getting loud as Mark Burns says they don't want President Trump back. Later, they want him now. They need him now. They need to certify. And then they want to try President Biden for treason because he exists. They hold a prayer for the New York uh, Attorney General, who voiced concerns about the event. Says if she doesn't repent... Show her what happens when someone goes against his servants. So yeah, it's a, it's a Trump cult. Literally what this is. And as you can see here, uh, there was a press conference with local churches trying to separate themselves away from this cult. But I just love, love, love the fact that they are against cancel culture, everyone. They are so against cancel culture that, you know, they, they brought an entire cult to their movement and then didn't let them have a booth. Uh, so that's that. That's a big failure. That's a big oof for 1776. That actually defeats the point of their entire trip. So, oh man, I cannot wait to see what happens next. Personally, I would not be shocked to see if they have their ability to hand out pamphlets uh, removed or them simply get kicked out for handing out pamphlets without a booth. Um, and who knows what the rest of them will get into today.